CCS presents the Penn State Football Show. This show is brought to you by your 40,000 Westinghouse neighbors in Pennsylvania who make products that use energy efficiently. And by Budweiser, the king of beers. When you say Budweiser, you've said it all. And by Rockwell International, where science gets down to business. It's the Penn State Nittany Lions versus the North Carolina State Wolfpack. Hi, everybody. I'm Ray Scott. Familiar face by my side, that of George Paterno. George, among other things, fascinating about today's game between Penn State and North Carolina State, the fact that we have two true Heisman Trophy candidates playing. Ted Brown, the great running back of North Carolina State, and Penn State's outstanding quarterback, Chuck Pusina. What are your thoughts about the Heisman Trophy and the chances of either of these two young men to be named? Well, both boys are worthy candidates. I look for today's game to be a, a real struggle between Brown, who ran for 251 yards alone against Penn State last year, and Fusino, who threw for 315 yards against North Carolina State. They should pick up the struggle today. It looks like it might be a fierce battle. So we do indeed have outstanding individuals today, in addition to a matchup between two teams that have played outstanding, very thrilling games in the last couple of years. We'll be back with the opening kickoff right after this. Carolina State won the toss, getting ready to receive Matt Barr's kickoff. In the end zone, Buster Ray will not run it out. North Carolina State will start from the North Carolina State 20-yard line, first and 10. The front five for Penn State. Joe Lally, number 84. Matt Millen, number 60. Greg Jones in the middle, number 70. Bruce Clark, number 54. Larry Kubin, number 74. The North Carolina State quarterback is number 11, Scott Smith. Behind him are Brown, 23, Vickers, 33. Ted Brown, straight ahead, ran into Greg Jones, number 70. The Penn State linebackers, number 56, Lance Mell, leads Penn State in tackles. Number 65, Paul Suey, the defensive captain. At the corners, Mike Gilson in 37, Carl McCoy, number 21, Pete Harris is the free safety, number 27, and the hero back or strong safety is Rich Mallott, number 28. Brown picked up a yard, it is second down nine. Ted Brown. Bruce Clark was there. Joe Lally was there. Gain of about a half a yard. So Brown has carried twice for a yard and a half. It will be third down and almost eight. Ray, Penn State in a little unusual defense. They got a lot of people in the gaps to try to seal off those seams that Brown, Brown likes to hit. Joe Dimonick, number 30, is starting at the corner in place of Carl McCoy. North Carolina State alternates at the one wide receiver spot, bringing in the plays. Hall is wide to the right. Jukes is wide to the left. Third and eight as Smith is back to pass. Ted Brown, good catch, close to a first down. Lance Mell makes the tackle with Rich Mallott. But a good catch by Ted Brown. This is, this is just a little delay pass to Ted Brown. Now, he has a reputation as being a fine receiver, and he shows us why. Just a little bit off the ball, goes up with one hand, makes a great catch. It's close to the first down. It is a North Carolina State first down by the nose of the ball. Mike Quick, number 22, will go out wide to the right. Wide to the left is Randy Hall. First down, North Carolina State at the NC State 30. Good gain of seven yards. Ted Brown is brought down by Matt Millen. This is why Ted Brown is dangerous. Very strong inside runner. Takes a good cross cut here, gets outside of Mel, drives ahead for eight yards, and it's been all Ted Brown so far. He winds up with about six. It is second down and three and a half for first down. Intended for Billy Ray Vickers, number 33, the junior running back from Forest City, North Carolina. It is going to be third down. The offensive line for North Carolina State, and pay attention to their center, number 51, Jim Richard. 
Dieterich, 76, Stone, 72 on the left side, Richard the center, number 51, Tim Gillespie, number 65, and Chris Coney, number 75, the right tackle. Third down, North Carolina State, a little over three yards to go for a first down at the North Carolina State 37. Ted Brown, he is short of a first down. He ran into Suey, among others. Short by about a half a yard. It'll be fourth down, and Greg Jones, the sophomore from Newcastle, was in on the play. North Carolina State took the opening kickoff, moved to one first down. It is now fourth and one, and Isley is in to punt to Gooman and Suey. Fine punt. Suey at the Penn State 12. 20. 30. 40. Reaches down. Penalty flag is down at the line of scrimmage. A penalty flag is down at the line of scrimmage. You would think it would be against North Carolina State in this kind of a situation. I watch Suey take this ball now. This is why Penn State so dangerous. Gets a great block from Gooman and Springham. Comes up to the inside. He's a big back. Gets another good block. Has Urquhart out leading. Penn State can beat you in so many different ways. First down at the North Carolina State 45-yard line. Suey. You've seen a lot of time. He's going deep for Fitzky. So, Fusina went for all the marbles on first down. It is incomplete. The, off, the offensive line for Penn State. Keith Dorney, 71. Eric Cunningham, 68. Chuck Carell, 55. Jim Romano, 53. Jim Brown, 75. And the starting tight end is Irv Pankey, number 82. Second down and 10. Suey. Four yards to the 41-yard line. North Carolina State defensively. John Hall, 83. Simon Gupton, 90. John Stanton, 73. Brian O'Doherty, number 95. And Mike Owens, number 48. The North Carolina State linebackers, both from Pennsylvania. Bill Cower, 54 from Crafton. And Kyle Wesco, 57 from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Third down, six and a half for Penn State. Fusina is brought down by the blitzing linebacker, Marion Gale, and it is fourth down. Little play actions right here, fake the Book of Moore. Chuck does not see the linebacker blitzing on his left side. Big loss for Penn State. Fitzky punts, fumble. Curtis Ryan, the coach's brother, is dropped at the North Carolina State 17-yard line. And this game is sending off sparks already. This series between these two teams began back in 1920. Penn State has won 12 and lost two. runs into Greg Jones after a short game and well, I thought for a moment Suey was down but he's all right well uh, North Carolina State is not going to use Ted Brown as a decoy today because they've used him on almost every play they're trying to audibleize catch Penn State in a gap and try to hit Ted Brown in an open spot where he can run for daylight gain four yards second down six North Carolina State 21 yard line no score early first quarter This is Vickers. Fine play by Lance Mel. Gain. Oh, about two yards. We call this the counter option. He fakes to Brown on the dive. Comes out quick pitch uh, to Billy Ray Vickers. Turns the corner. Mel makes a fine one-on-one -on -one tackle. Third down for North Carolina State at the Wolfpack 24-yard line. yard. That's
that's all. Paul Suey and Greg Jones make the tackle. All right, straight, quick, quick draw play to Brown, trying to spring him up the middle. Here comes Suey, and here Mel. comes Mel and Jones and a whole blue, a bunch of blue out there. Fourth and two, eyes lead a punt. Good punt. Suey at the Penn State 37. Good coverage that time, but Penn State has, for the second time, excellent field position at the Penn State 47-yard line. Ray, I, I'm in, just interested to see if Penn State comes back with that same play. The tight end, Irv Pankey, was running clean. Nobody near him, right over the middle. Bassett and Donovan are alternating, bringing in the plays, and Penn State has a second and nine at the Penn State 48-yard line. Booker Moore deep behind Suey. Now lines up to the left of Suey. Short gain to the North Carolina State 49-yard line. Well, if you see this getting excellent pass protection, he was looking for Eric Pankey. He had two receivers to his right. Pankey had one-on-one, -on -one, was covered, dumped it off to the safety valve. Booker Moore gets a short gain. Third down, seven at the 50-yard line. Pitsky is to the open side of the field, out to the right. Bassett in motion. Bassett. There's a flag down. Penalty flag down behind the line, and one of the North Carolina State players indicates it is against He's Penn State holding. holding. Chuck Corral is called for holding. Let's see if we can pick it up. There's Corral right there. Picks up right here, picks him up. It's a definite holding call. If you see him, puts the ball right on target. It will be nullified, and Penn State will draw a 10-yard penalty. And Penn State will be back near the Penn State 40-yard line as North Carolina State makes several defensive adjustments. They bring in an additional defensive back to the 35-yard line on a 15-yard penalty. Third down, 25. Well, North Carolina State's doing what Maryland tried to do. They're trying to challenge Penn State to throw the football, trying to take their running uh, game away from them. Penn State at the Penn State 31-yard line after a 15-yard holding penalty. It is third and 25. This is Donovan. Legrand, the sophomore cornerback, number 42, played that very well, and Penn State is in a punting situation. It's just a simple reverse to Donovan coming around. Third and 25. Penn State hoped to spring a long one. Not enough running room. Randy Hall is at the North Carolina State 20. No, this is Curtis Ryan. Fair catch, North Carolina State 27-yard line. With eight minutes left to play in the first quarter. Penn State's defense is currently ranked number one nationally against the run, allowing 1.3 yards per rush. That adds up to 46.3 yards per game. A new quarterback, John Isley, a junior from Wilmington, North Carolina, number 17. Billy Vickers. Good run. Close to a first down. He ran into Pete Harris. Billy Ray Vickers, number 33. This is a quick pitch to Vickers. They catch Lally a little bit to the inside. They pull their tackle. Shows a burst of speed here. Gets around the corner. Makes a nice, nice, powerful run. We're going to have a measurement here for the down, hence the brief delay. There's the new quarterback, John Isley. He had been uh, limited to doing the, just the punting up until coming in a moment ago. Isley is supposed to be the better thrower of the two quarterbacks. Vickers is the second leading runner. It is a first down. Second leading runner to Ted Brown. He's gained over 400 yards this season. He's just a junior. Number 33 picks up a first down. So North Carolina State now has good field position. First down at the North Carolina State 38-yard line. Wide to the right, Randy Hall. Randy Hall. 
Brown is directly behind Isley. Tried to hit Len Jukes, the junior wide receiver, number 25, with Dominic defending. It's going to be second and ten. One interesting thing is that, you know, if Penn State doesn't start moving the ball and you keep giving it to North Carolina State, Teddy Brown is going to break one. Again, Hall goes to the wide side, the right, and to the left is Mike Quick, a freshman receiver, number 22. Second down, 10, North Carolina State. Fumble! Isley falls on the football, and it's going to be third and about 10. Be interesting to see now in what it would appear to be a passing situation if Penn State will do any blitzing, George. Well, they seem to be much more effective when they, you know, they take the uh, reins off and let those big horses go. Wide to the right is Lynn Dawson. So there are three wide receivers this time. Ken Brown. Short of a first down, Matt Millen and Joe Lally make the play against Brown, who is down along the near sidelines, and it's punt formation time for North Carolina State. Well, Penn State did blitz. was a good call. They dumped it off to Brown. He gets hit real hard here by Lally, who was dropped off as a linebacker. Eyes lead a punt. Suey and Gooman to receive. No score. First quarter, seven minutes left. Another beautiful punt. Suey at the 15. Oh, what a play by North Carolina State's Don Ritter, a linebacker. The score, Penn State nothing, North Carolina State nothing. Penn State backed up to the Penn State 15-yard line. Penn State without a first down. Booker Moore. Good gain for Moore out across the 20-yard line before he's brought down by cornerback Donnie Legrand, number 42. Five yards, second and five, Penn State at the Penn State 20. This is about as long as I can recall that Penn State has gone without a first down this year. Absolutely. They're challenging, them, challenging Penn State to throw the football. So he gets about four yards in the grasp of linebacker Bill Cower from Crafton, Pennsylvania, number 54. North Carolina State playing a 52 defense, pursuing real good. The middle guard that time took the gap to his right. The linebackers key of the fullback, Suey, and are holding Penn State's running game. But you can throw on him. Third and one, and Mike Gooman is now the tailback, number 24. Suey, first down. And again, the linebacker, Cower, makes the tackle. Another capacity crowd at Beaver Stadium. This is good hard running. Fullback slant to the left. Gets good blocking from the left side of the line. Gooman leads up. This cow is a fine linebacker. Took tough running to make that first down. Five and a half minutes to play first quarter, and Fitzky and Donovan are out wide to the right. Gooman. Across the 35-yard line. One-on-one right. -on, -one on Gooman. A little fake to Suey. They got the tight end, runs across. Linebacker tries to pick him up. He almost broke this. Gain on the play, nine yards. Second and one at the Penn State 36-yard line. Fitzky to the left and Bassett to the wide side of the field, the right. Simon Gupton, number 90, makes the defensive play for North Carolina State. Well, Penn State's picking on Gupton now. They're running, have run the last three uh, plays to the left side of the line against Gupton. Baba Green, number 91, is in at a tackle from Woodbine, New Jersey. Joe Hanna, number 59, is in at a defensive end instead of Hall. First down, Penn State. Bigger Panky. Mike Knoll 
makes the tackle. A junior out of Akron, Ohio, defensive back, but it's close to another Penn State first down. State has two receivers to the left of the screen. Panky's one-on-one, -on -one, comes across the field. You see the slip, but still gets the ball to him. And this tight end must get into the passing game. He's been wide open. Makes a fine catch coming back to the ball. It is another Penn State first down at the North Carolina State 48-yard line this time. Mike, Matt Suey is punishing players right now. He's running with tremendous force. This is just all Mike, uh, Matt Suey. Fullback drawer. Tries to go to the inside. No room. Sheds one tackle here. Turns it on. This is, this is why he's so tough to stop. 270, 17 pounds of dynamite. Second down one at the North Carolina State 39. Donovan in motion. Gilman, first down. Down to the 30-yard line, and Penn State has moved now from the Penn State 15-yard line to the North Carolina State 30. This is student body left. Watch the whole left side of the line go. Just a quick toss to Mike Gilman. As we said, a patient runner. Gets a fine block from Suey. Cuts back. He always, he's always looking to make the big cut. Three and a half minutes left to play first quarter. No score. Penn State first and ten. North Carolina State 30-yard line. Bassett in motion. Mike Gilman ran into the pulling guard, Jim Romano, and result is a loss on the play of about a yard. Play about to be sent in by Tom Donovan. We want to remind you that announcers on this telecast are contracted and paid for by Total Communication Systems. Any rebroadcast, reproduction, or other use of the accounts of this game without the express written consent of Total Communications is prohibited. Second down, 11 at the North Carolina State 31. Suey gets about three yards to the 28-yard line, and now Penn State is in a third down and eight. First really big play for Penn State's offense. This is a handback trap. Matt Suey's running tough. The middle guard, Stanton, comes off, gets a hold of one of his legs, and down he goes. Third down, eight. Fitzke wide left. Bassett to the right. Good play by Mike Knoll, or Gooman would have had big, big yardage. At four people. Screen play to Mike Gooman. The tight end, Irv Panky, running right to left, is supposed to block out that cornerback, Noll. He misses him, and he makes a fine play, or else it would have gone all the way. Loss of one. Matt Barr will try for his 18th field goal of the season. Penn State got the ball as a result of a North Carolina State punt. Penn State now is at fourth and nine. Bassett. snap back is messed up. North Carolina State takes over the ball at the North Carolina State 45-yard line. There was no further scoring, and the quarter ended with the score. Penn State nothing, North Carolina State nothing. We'll be back with second quarter action right after this. Another gorgeous afternoon for Penn State football. That last play lost a yard. Started the second quarter, second and 11. North Carolina State at the Penn State 42-yard line. Scott Smith at quarterback. Vickers and Brown the running backs. Brown. Great play by Paul Suey and a loss back to the 46-yard line. Counter option. Counter option play. A little fake to Vickers. Watch the quarterback step. Here's the pitch, and a great one-on-one -on -one tackle by Paul Suey, and he's tough to take down one-on-one. -on -one. Loss on the play of four yards. It is third and 15 for North Carolina State at the Penn State 46-yard line. It's a second. Interception, Rich Mullock. Rich Mullock intercepts. 
Penn State rushes four, drops back seven. They're trying to hit the flanker coming across. Rich Millat actually goes in, takes the ball away from us. It's a super interception, and Penn State has that football. That's Penn State's 24th interception of the season. First down at the Penn State 39-yard line. Oh, what a play. Simon Gupton, the big tackle, number 90, met Sui at the line of scrimmage. Uh, Gupton just shoots the gap to the inside. Sui never had a chance. Jimmy Brown missed his block completely trying to seal him off. Second and 10 after no gain with 14 minutes to play in the scoreless first half. Donovan to the right. Fitzky is wide to the left. Gooman is the tailback. Now Gooman moves to the left of Sui. to hit Donovan over the middle. It will be third and ten. Well, the receivers are getting open. I think it's just a question of time when Chuck settles down and starts picking out the right man to hit. Eddie Jackson, a junior defensive back, comes into the backfield now for North Carolina State, replacing Mike Nall. Third and ten, Penn State at the Penn State 39-yard line in a fast-moving game. Bassett to the left, Fitzky to the right. Carolina State has the ball, but a penalty flag is down. That's a fumble. Could be interference. Let's see what we have. North Carolina State was offside. And a break for Penn State. Well, it's a big break for Penn State. This is a similar repeat of the last play. He's looking for Bobby Bassett, coming right to left, across the middle. The ball's well thrown. Bassett takes it on a dead run and gets hit very hard. And Wilson got the ball. North Carolina State offside, and Penn State gets the big break. It is third and five after the five-yard penalty at the Penn State 44-yard line. The two wide receivers are to the left side of the field. does a deep out, going for the first down. Keeps his feet in bounds. Good reception. Move. But it will be nullified. All right, I'm on the 44. Five, 10, 15 yards. Whoa, that's more than 15. What? Back to the 26-yard line. Holding. Well, they brought it back to the line of scrimmage. Third down, 25. The third down and 20 at the Penn State 26. made the tackle. Well, Scott Fitzke shows us why he's a potential All-American. A deep curl. They're trying to get the first down. Ball's well thrown. A little high. Up goes Scott. Great leaping ability. He's just a little short. Fitzke will punt. Inside the 15-yard line. Back near the 10-yard line. The score, Penn State nothing, North Carolina State nothing. John Isley, number 17, is the quarterback. Bo Ryan, the coach, alternating at that quarterback position. Ted Brown. Good gain. Brown picks up about six or seven yards before Pete Harris moved number 23 out of bounds. 
and this is just a down the line option. No fake of the dive back. Vickers puts a block out here. He pitches it to Brown. Now Carl McCoy, the defensive cornerback, has to come up a little quicker to stop that play. Gain six yards. Second and four at the North Carolina State 18 yard line. Hall is to the left. to the 19-yard line. Waiting was Greg Jones, Bruce Clark, Matt Dillon, the heart, the middle of that defensive line. There's Dick Anderson, the offensive line coach. Now, this week again, Penn State's offense is sputtering three penalties for 42 yards. You can't put a drive together. You, making errors like that. Third and three at the North Carolina State 19-yard line. And Clark has it. Bruce Clark with a great play. Bruce Clark shows super strength here. One on one, fights off the blocker, the alignment, then takes on Vickers and puts Ted Brown down, stops the first down. Isley stands at the North Carolina State two yard line. Suey at the Penn State 32. That room. Great run back. Well, the specialty teams is, are giving the offense good field position. Another fine run back by Suey. Gets a great cross block there. This time they take it up the middle. Again, he almost breaks it. First down, Penn State at the North Carolina State 41-yard line. Booker Moore at tailback. Bob Torrey at fullback. Booker Moore. Boy, that linebacker, Bill Cower from Crafton, is playing a great football game. Number 54. Well, both inside linebackers are firing up in the gaps as soon as they see any move of the offensive line. Watch him go right here. Cowers and Vesco, both of them. They fire right into the gap. The key in the fullback, Penn State must throw the football. Gain of three, second and seven at the North Carolina State 39-yard line. the 19-yard line. Well, they're, they're challenging. You see that they throw the ball. Let's see what you can do. This time, the fake to Booker Moore keeps both inside linebackers at home. The middle's wide open. Here's Fitzky. Great reception. Penn State's in scoring position. First down at the North Carolina State 19-yard line. 10:45 left to play in the first half. <laughs> Torrey powers his way down to the 17-yard line, where it'll be second down and eight. Again, both inside linebackers came on a blitz. A little fake to the fullback and a dump to Eric Pankey would be wide open. Penn State, second down, eight. North Carolina State, 17-yard line. Suey. Only about a yard. Joe Hanna, the junior defensive left end, number 59, played that exceedingly well. Matt made this all on his own. Gets hit behind the line of scrimmage, keeps his balance, struggles for it, struggles up to the line of scrimmage, gets about one or two. Third down, six at the North Carolina State 16 yard line. Fitzky got one hand on it, or it might have reached Bob Bassett. Well, I thought that the North Carolina State might have been off uh, side on defense because Chuck got an awful lot of pressure real soon. Could not find a receiver. Penn State got the ball by virtue of a North Carolina State punt at the North Carolina State 42-yard line on a great run back by Matsui. Penn State now is in a field goal situation. Bassett to hold, a 33-yard attempt by Matt Barr. Field goal number 18 out of 23 attempts for Matt Barr, and Penn State is on the board. Penn State.
stayed on the board on a Matt Barr field goal. North Carolina State offside on the following kickoff. Matt Barr tees it up to kick off again. McLean in the end zone. He will not run it out. North Carolina State lost yardage on that decision. Six yards were lost by being offside. So North Carolina State will start from the NC State 20-yard line. Scott Smith will be the quarterback, the junior from College Park, Georgia. Hall is to the right side. Jukes to the left. And McLean is now the tailback. Ted Brown is out of the game. I know how you feel, Matt. He saw it all the way. This is one of those quick screens. A little flat pass out to the halfback. The whole left side of the line released. Matt read it. He almost had himself six points. Pass incomplete. Second and ten at the North Carolina State 20. Gilsonen, the one defensive halfback. Carl McCoy, the other. Pete Harris, the strong, uh, the uh, free safety. <laughs> Larry Kubin nails Vickers for a loss. We have a counter option. Little fake, here comes the quarterback down the line forces the pitch. Larry Kubin's in perfect position, and now Penn State's defense is getting fired up. Loss on the play, five yards. Third and 15. McLean comes out, and Ted Brown checks back in, number 23. Brown gets five yards. It'll be fourth down. And Paul Suey, who is having an outstanding afternoon, makes the tackle on Ted Brown. Even the fans are starting to liven up a little bit. Penn State has forced North Carolina State into a fourth and ten. Eyes lead a punt. Mike Gooman at the Penn State 42. Good coverage by North Carolina State. Limits that run back to practically nothing. The score, Penn State 3, North Carolina State nothing. Following the only score of this first half, a field goal by Matt Barr. The teams exchanged punts. North Carolina State has the ball. First down at the North Carolina State 32-yard line. Scott Smith is the quarterback. Rich Malak blitzing. Makes the tackle on Smith, and North Carolina State loses. Penn State anticipated pass on first down. Here they come with the blitz. Rich Malott off to your left. Comes in on Smith. He doesn't have a chance. Millen has his hands up. And this is a defensive struggle all the way so far. Lost three yards. Second down, 13 at the North Carolina State 29-yard line. Five minutes, 40 seconds to play first half. Three nothing, Penn State. it out to the 38-yard line. A good game before Joe Lally makes the tackle. All right, this time Smith decides to keep. Suey overran the play. Runs real tough, makes a nice game. It is third and four for North Carolina State at the Wolfpack 37-yard line with only five minutes remaining in the first half. Chucky Kennedy is the fullback now, number 36. Another great play. Oh, they're playing that option play beautifully. They play, they play it perfect. This is that counter option. Now, Kuban forces the quarterback right here to pitch it. Malat sheds the blocker, comes up and makes a beautiful play. Owsley to punt. Gooman and Sui to accept the punt with four and a half minutes left in the first half. Oh. 
State will roll inside the 15 yard line and Penn State will be back up deep at the 13 yard line with 410 left to play in the first half. Everybody expected offensive fireworks. So far, we haven't seen any. Neither team has been successful in making the third down play, the third down conversion for the first down. Penn State will have Suey at fullback, Gooman at tailback. Fusina now has been dropped for losses, uh, what, three times? Three times. Bassett to the right, Fitzke to the left. Dewey lost his footing and uh, picks up about a yard to the 14-yard line. North Carolina State continues to make changes depending on the situation, adding a defensive back, taking out a linebacker, and so forth. Right now, Penn State has a second and nine at the Penn State 14-yard line. Donovan and Fitzke are off to the right. Suey to the 20, where it will be third down and three. The two linebackers, Wesco and Cower, who have been very active, make the tackle on Suey. Well, North Carolina State has been shifting their nose guard into the gap. This time, Penn State catches him in that defensive position, and Suey takes it right up the middle for a good game. You don't, George, you don't. Third down, three. No wide receivers in motion. Fitzke, first down. 29-yard line. Once again, the Wolf Pack dares Chuck Fusina to put the ball up in the air. Spot Scott Fitzke for the first down, but Bubba Green made great penetration and almost got to Fusina again. It's a first down at the Penn State 29-yard line. Intercepts Fusina and North Carolina State as the first down at the Penn State 28-yard line. Fusina decides to throw on first down. It was a quick look in. Misread the coverage, throws the interception, and here's North Carolina State in scoring position. Brown and Vickers are the running backs. Vickers inside the 20, a first down for North Carolina State. I'm sorry, I said Vickers, it was Ted Brown. This is what Ted Brown does best. Runs for daylight, straight hand off. Watch him take that little cut back to the inside, found some daylight, almost took it all away. It is ruled to be short of a first down by just inches at the 18-yard line. Two tight ends are in the game. First down at the 14-yard line, where Larry Kubin makes the tackle. Now, North Carolina State has three timeouts remaining. Only two minutes left in the half. They have plenty of time. They string out the option. This time, Smith decides to keep the ball. There's an awful lot of pressure on Penn State's defense right now. Kubin chasing from the eye behind, puts him down. North Carolina State, following a pass interception, has moved to a first and goal at the Penn State one-yard line. They have an inter interesting decision. If they don't make it on this, will they go for the field goal on the next play? First and goal, North Carolina State, Penn State, one yard line. No game. Mel pins down Smith. Now, North Carolina State has one timeout remaining. A loss of about a yard. It is second and goal, and the clock continues to run. They're going to lose. 20 seconds left in the half. Great handoff. Malak 
catches Brown in midair. Now, this is a great defensive play. They've lost the opportunity. Uh, 11 seconds, they have one timeout left to go for the field goal. North Carolina State has asked for its final timeout. It will be third and goal at the Penn State two-yard line. Oh, I love this kind of football. Great, great game, football. Great game. Third and goal, North Carolina State, Penn State two-yard line. Well, you would almost think they would have to fake the ball to Brown with all the fuss he put on, and maybe the quarterback tried to keep it himself. Touchdown, Ted Brown gets the touchdown. North Carolina State has taken the lead. You have to admire his courage. Give me that football. I'll take it in. Good surge by the line, but good, tough running. He gets hit by Coogan, but drives in for the touchdown. Excellent running. If ever a game would have all the earmarks of having a tremendous second half, this would be the game. There was no further scoring, and the half ended with the score. North Carolina State 7, Penn State 3. We'll be back with Dorothy Harris, Penn State's faculty representative in the Sports Research and Testing Department, and Dr. Robert J. Scano, Dean of the College of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation, right after this. This is what the steam engine looked like 200 years ago, when James Watt tripled the work it could get from coal. Today, it's urgent that we get more work from all our energy resources. And Rockwell International is stepping up to that challenge with technology. Coal. Rockwell technology is turning it into gas and oil and helping coal flow through pipelines. Oil and gas. Rockwell technology is helping find it, tap it, cap it, control it, meter it, and move it. Nuclear energy. Rockwell Technology is in every nuclear power plant in America with valves, recombiners, safety systems. Rockwell is exploring ways to capture energy from the sun, wind, water, and deep inside the earth. And Rockwell's at work in energy management. Energy is one of the sciences of Rockwell International, where science gets down to business. Solar power. We've been using it to power spacecraft. Someday, solar energy will take its place with other fuels on Earth. With this first solar-heated school, Westinghouse scientists are working to bring that day closer. With solar homes and, for the future, large systems for collecting and concentrating solar energy. We must depend on coal and nuclear energy for the foreseeable future. But solar progress is underway now at Westinghouse, a powerful part of your life. Wind. Penn State will receive the kickoff at the start of the second half. Ed McIntyre will kick off. Donovan in the middle for Penn State. Matt Suey to his right. Joel Coles to his left. North Carolina State leads 7-3. Good kick. Oh, my. No return on this. Great kick by McIntyre. So even the kicker is fired up here, George Paterno. He had 10 yards to spare on that So now let's see what adjustments Penn State will make at halftime. What adjustments do you think must be made offensively, George? Well, North Carolina State's playing a gap type of defense to the tight end side. Now, Penn State has to put some first downs together, back to back, get a little momentum going, pass a little bit more on first down when they're in the right field position. You've seen the quarterback, Suey the fullback, Booker Moore the tailback. Bassett in motion. Booker Moore. Three yards where linebacker Kyle Wesco makes the tackle. All right, Penn State decides to get outside. They're playing a little bit of a gap defense there. Cunningham leads. Booker's trying to get a little cut back, but runs tough, makes a good three yards. Second down, seven at the Penn State 23. Donovan breaks out of the huddle to the right. Fitzky is lined up side in close. Donovan first down. 33 yard line. Hit down by Ronnie Lee. All right, single coverage to Donovan to the wide side of the field. Little play action. Second down. Fine throw by Fusina. Donovan comes back to the ball like all good receivers should. 
The ball spotted between the 31 and 32 yard line. First down, Penn State. Here comes Bassett. Hooker Moore. Gets about four yards beyond the 35 yard line. Well, North Carolina State's challenging. Those linebackers, the inside linebackers are firing on running downs. Penn State has gone to two tight ends. Going to take it to them. Now, North Carolina, up the middle. North Carolina State here, George, is, has taken out a defensive back and added a defensive lineman on second down and six. Challenging them to throw the football. Gooman in a slot right. to the 40, where it will be third and short yardage, tackled by Bill Cower, the linebacker. Uh, this is just fine running by Suey, but once again, watch Green to the top of your screen, make penetration to the inside, almost get Suey. Now they have to close their splits down to that side, so the offensive tackle can block down and pick up Green before he makes penetration. It is third and one and a half at the Penn State 40. Early third quarter, North Carolina State leading seven to three, one wide receiver, Bassett. He made the first down. He's at the 41-yard line, very close to a first down. Middle guard John Stanton made the tackle. Looks a little short from here, Ray. Measurement. Off tackle play. Again, great penetration by the North Carolina State defense. down. Torrey comes in. Scoville comes in. Fourth down inches at the Penn State 41 yard line. Absolutely imperative that they close their splits down, get toe to toe so the Penn offensive line can get a surge. Penn State is gambling. Fourth and inches at the Penn State 41 yard line. Early third quarter. Trailing 7 to 3. Houston sneaks for the first down to the 42 yard line. No risk of any penetration on that call. Well, the reason for the uh, two tight end set that they've been, they've been using now is because of the North Carolina taking the gap, shooting them, they're toe to toe, and they're going to go head to head and, and slug it out in the trench with North Carolina State and try to make some yardage that way. Penn State is, in, rather, North Carolina State is insisting on a measurement that if I've ever seen a first down, this is it. With 12.36 to play in the third quarter. Joe Paterno looks from across the way. First down, Penn State at the Penn State 42-yard line. This drive started following the second half kickoff, which went over the end line. The drive started at the Penn State 20. Gooman and Suey will be the running backs. Again, Bassett in motion. Mike Gooman. defense blocked out kicked out the corner and Mike Gooman almost took it all the way great run excellent cutback he's keeps striving for that goal line first down at the North Carolina State 16 yard line Suey oh, two yards that's all ran into Simon Gupton the big tackle number 90 that type of defense when you penetrate like that it's all or nothing at all if the ball carrier gets past the line of scrimmage he's gone for a good game that time, the gain was two yards. It is second down eight. The ball just inside the North Carolina State 15-yard line. Penn State has controlled the ball now for three and a half minutes. Again, the man in motion. This time, Donovan. Tremendous rush by cornerback Donnie Legrand, who was blitzing. But there was an error on somebody's part. He wanted to screen the ball off to Gooman. Gooman was downfield in front of the screen. Let's take a look. 
will fake the mic. Now, Bike supposed to sneak out here to his left, looking for the screen. He's beyond the line of scrimmage. It is third down and eight, and North Carolina State continues to play very, very tough defense. And the defensive signals are sent in from the sideline. Why not go back outside again where you just made a nice run? Gulman is in a slot to the left. Blitz. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. And again, North Carolina State is going all out with a gambling type of defense. Absolutely. Blitz is coming from the right. Chuck never sees it. Offensive lineman is one of the defensive backs that comes in on a blitz. He does a good job getting out of it when they still have an opportunity to make a field goal. Penn State took the second half kickoff, drove all the way to the North Carolina State 15-yard line where it is fourth and nine. A great run by Mike Gooman, but now field goal attempt by Barr. Bassett holds. Penn State is on the board for the second time. North Carolina State's lead is down to one point. Matt Barr prepares to kick off. McLean and Kennedy are deep for North Carolina State. Good kick. Kennedy at the two. To the 20. Craig Coder was the first man down. Now let's see whether North Carolina State can move the ball on this Penn State defense. The quarterback will be Scott Smith. The running backs, and I have tended to confuse them from time to time, one with the other. Ted Brown, 23. Billy Ray Vickers, 33. Bruce Clark is wearing number 51 in the second half, and he immediately makes his presence known. There is virtually no gain on the play as Bo so Ryan Wolf looks Pat, on. Wolfpack comes right out with the option, fakes to Vickers, sees that Brown is covered, tries to turn up inside the quarterback, and Clark is there. No gain, second down, 10. To the right is Hall. I think North Carolina State may have started prematurely. Right guard or right tackle? Look like they jumped right. Right tackle. I'm trying to recall. I don't think that North Carolina State has thrown to a wide receiver in this game. I'm trying to recall. Nine. That's where it was, right in that area. We'll go back, replay the day down, second down. Rich Malat picked it off, yeah. Penn State has the option of a third and five or a second and 15 and accept the penalty. And North Carolina State now is backed up to the Wolfpack 15-yard line. Well, Penn State's defense is fired up, and they, they're the ones that take command of the game, usually. North Carolina State has been penalized five yards for offside. Second and 15, North Carolina State at the Wolfpack 15-yard line. Here's Smith down. being blitzed. Most a tremendous catch by Ted Brown. And he had some room. Smith was knocked down just as he released the ball by Joe Lally. It is third and 15. They wanted to dump it off to Brown right over the line of scrimmage. Here comes the blitz. Almost another great catch by Teddy Brown. And a little running room there. 10-20 left to play in the third quarter as Buster Ray brings in the play from the sidelines. Wide receiver Ray, number 24. It is third and 15, North Carolina State, big play. Wide receiver is the tight end, Lynn Dawson, to the left. Right to the screen. This is Vickers. Four yards. To the 20, it is going to be fourth down, and Penn State should get excellent field position as Rich Mallott makes another fine play. North Carolina State goes to the option play on a long yardage situation, doesn't get the first down. The hitting out there is getting real rough. Eyes lead a punt. At the 50, and a Penn State roll. And a great spot now for the Penn State offense near midfield. The score, North Carolina State 7, Penn State 6. 
following a North Carolina State punt. Penn State took over at the 50-yard line, drove to the North Carolina State 19-yard line. It is now fourth down. Penn State is trying a field goal. Bassett to hold. Bar to try. 37 yards. It has the distance. And Penn State has the lead. What a weapon. Penn State's field hockey team, coached by Gillian Ratray, ended the season with a 13-1-3 record. While the soccer team, coached by Walter Barr, father of Penn State place kicker Matt Barr and former place kicker Chris Barr, has qualified for the NCAA soccer playoffs. This will be the ninth consecutive year in the playoffs with an 11-4-1 record and the longest winning streak among Division I schools. Penn State has grabbed the lead 9-7 and Barr kicks off. This is McLean at the seven. Matt Barr belts him out of bounds. Great play by Matt Barr. Boy, that one almost broke for long distance. And North Carolina State has great field position at the North Carolina State 36-yard line. McLean has great speed. Whoa. Let's see if North Carolina State puts the ball in the air. Penn State has Lally 84, Millen 60, Petruccio 99, Clark 51, and Kubin 74, the front five. Ted Brown gets out to about the 40, almost four yards. When you get a yardage figure on Brown, would you let me know what it is, uh, I will do, will do. You know, when people are keying you like that, to make yardage, it's tough. Dimenick gives way to Brian Kistler at the corner, number 47, a sophomore. I don't know if McCoy is injured or not. Nothing at all for Brown this time. It's going to be third down, and Paul Suey continues his outstanding day with help that time from Matt Millen. Well, Suey's king, man for man. This time, Paul makes a great surge, wins the battle. This Teddy Brown, one great thing about him is not only he's adorable, but he gets better as the game goes on, so watch out. 17 carries for Brown, 49 yards. Third down, six. North Carolina State at the North Carolina State 40. Short of a first down. Petruccio and Lally. Fourth down, North Carolina State. And the Penn State defense continues its tremendous play. They try to cross up Penn State here. Run the ball up the gut. Figure Penn State is going to look for the pass. But they don't make the first down. Owsley to punt. Isley to punt. Gooman and Suey to accept the punt. Very good punt. Into the end zone. Penn State will have the football at the Penn State 20 yard line with 4.12 left to play in the third quarter. Torrey will be the fullback. Booker Moore will be the tailback. Bassett will line up wide to the right, and Fitzky is lined up as a tight end on the left side. On first down. Fusina picks up about five yards before he's brought down by Bill Cower. State decides to pass on first down from a two tight end set. Can't find his receiver. Decides to scramble. He's got pretty good legs, but I sure would like to see him put that ball away when he runs, especially deep in his own territory. Pick up almost six yards. Second down, four and a half. 340 to play, third quarter. running by Booker Moore and a first down at the Penn State 32 yard line behind a fine block by Eric Cunningham. First down Penn State at the Penn State 32 yard line. And now Penn State is chewing up big yardage on the ground as Torrey gets about five yards on first down out to near the 38 yard line. Well, in the nitty gritty type of game, rock and sock, and there's a guy I like to see in the ball game, Buffalo Bob, he takes two or three people with him wherever he goes. Second down and about five. Second down, five. There goes Corey. 
he had the speed. Look out. What a run by Bob Torrey. Does he run over people or does he not? Now this is a draw play on second down. He runs it beautifully. Gets good blocking, but watch him run over the linebacker, Lesko. He makes it on his own. Now he breaks to the outside, shows real good speed. And it took a heck of a fast back to like Wilson to catch him. First down, Penn State at the North Carolina State 18-yard line. Penn State leading 9-7. to seven. Here comes a man in motion. Massey. Goes to Moore. Inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. And now Penn State's offensive line and hard running backs are really eating up yardage. They made the right adjustment. They're killing North Carolina State off tackle right now. Finds a gaping hole. Drives up and in. Now, if that off tackle hole was closed, then the back takes it to the outside. Gain for Booker Moore of almost five yards. It is second down, and let's call it six. Great. Penn State has 143 yards rushing this quarter. This time, a good guess by North Carolina State's linebacker, Kyle Wesco, and Torrey is held for no gain. Bill Cower as well, 57 and 54, and Penn State has a third down and about five at the North Carolina State 14-yard line. Okay, Wesco shot the gap, or uh, Cower Cow shot the gap and, and stopped the ball carrier for a loss. But when they do that, the ball carrier gets penetration beyond the line of scrimmage. He gets a good size of the game. Penn State has a third and five at the North Carolina State 14-yard line. Great play by Mike Knoll, the safety man. And it's going to be fourth down. And here comes the inevitable Matt Barr. Well, this is a reverse. They thought they'd catch North Carolina State. Go with the flow. They come back with Booker Moore. Looks like he's got room. But Knoll comes up and makes a great defensive play. Penn State's defense held, forced a North Carolina State punt. Penn State had the ball at its own 20, drove to the North Carolina State 14-yard line. Big play, a great run by Torrey. Now, field goal attempt by Barr. But again, Matt Barr continues his sensational kicking. 12 points off the right foot of Barr. Incidentally, Matt Barr has just tied the record that he shares with his brother of four field goals in one game. And that was a big one, Ray. That put North Carolina State kind of out of range of getting a field goal and going ahead 10 to 9. 33 seconds left in a third quarter that has been almost totally dominated by Penn State as Barr kicks off. This is Kennedy. Wrestled down at the 29-yard line by Bill Mead, a freshman defensive back from Yardley, PA. Well, we're going to have Ted Brown, number 23, a new quarterback, alternating. It's going to be John Isley now, the junior from Wilmington, North Carolina. Billy Ray Vickers will be the other running back. They split out the tight end, Dawson, so there are three wide receivers. Smith looking. Fine catch at the Penn State 46-yard line by Randy Hall, and North Carolina State quickly moves to a big first down. Isley throws us, he can, shows us he can throw that football. He's looking for Hall all the way. No rush, no pressure. Finds him as he's coming to the sidelines. Nice reception. First down at the Penn State 46-yard line. 18 seconds left, third quarter, and again, three wide receivers. This is Ted Brown to the outside. <laughs> Mike Gilson, rather, number 37, limits the speedy Brown to about a three-yard gain. Well, this could have been a three-yard loss. He wanted to go up inside, bounces it to the outside, accelerates, makes Malott miss, comes Gilson in, and Harris, three-yard game. Second down, seven at the Penn State 43. Again, three wide receivers. No gain on a pass. 
pass complete as Larry Kubin really put the shoulder. A little bit of a change. If that was an inside blitz by the two line inside linebackers, and the end drops off. Let's take a look at it. And it's Ted Brown who's injured. Teddy Brown's down. He tries to dump it off to Brown. Here comes Kubin. He dropped off. Read it all the way. Beautiful play. And Ted Brown is injured. There was no gain on the play. North Carolina State on the final play of the third quarter conceivably has lost the services of one of the great running backs. Nope, he's up. Oh, am I glad he's up. Number 23, Ted Brown is up, but a replacement, Wayne McLean, is going to replace him, it would appear right now. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Penn State 12, North Carolina State 7. We'll be right back after this. We're back with fourth quarter action with Penn State in control of the football. North Carolina State, third down seven. Here comes the blitz. Here comes the blitz. <laughs> Defending was Brian Kistler against Mike Quick, a freshman wide receiver from Hamlet, North Carolina. Fourth down. So Penn State's defense has been tremendous here in the second half. Penn State has 282 total yards to 128 for North Carolina State, but they're still very much in the ball game. Penn State has no one back deep. And Penn State offside. is offside. Oh, boy. Now, it will not be a first down. It'll be a fourth and about two, assuming that the penalty here is accepted by North Carolina State. I, I, I would assume they would take the penalty, then try to draw Penn State off sides again with a staggered count. Captain White! Now, there are two flags Captain. down. Whether two officials saw the same penalty or whether there were two different penalties, we'll wait and see. We come back and replay it, or it's going to be Penn State's ball. Offensive team's coming off the field. Penn State's offensive team. I have to get an answer. You want the penalty? Very good. We want the penalty. All right, now they have two yards to go for the first down. As I said, I assume that they will try to draw Penn State offside now and get their first down. No, they have Ted Brown back in the lineup. Billy Ray Vickers back in the go lineup. They're going to go for a first down. Fourth and about one at the Penn State 38-yard line. Fourth and two. On a punt formation, Penn State was offside. North Carolina State is going to go for a first down. Fourth and two at the Penn State 38. First down, Ted Brown. First down and, more. and a lot more than a first down as Lance Mel made the tackle. But North Carolina State gambled. Ted Brown again was one of the key men. It's a first down at the Penn State 28-yard line. Well, they have two wide receivers to that right side of the screen. They hit him delayed coming out of the backfield. Now you know why he's a genuine Heisman candidate. Incidentally, Penn State's Matt Barr has set an NCAA record for most field goals in a season, 21. But now, first down, North Carolina State at the Penn State 28-yard line. down to about the 25 or 6 yard line where he runs into Lance Mel. Two yard gain, second down eight at the Penn State 26. 14 minutes left in the game. North Carolina State led at halftime 7 to 3. Pete Harris the safety. Smith just playing through that one away, or rather, Isley just threw that one away. Well, he wanted to come back and hit Brown on the same play he hit him before, only to the left side. He was covered, and he threw the ball away wide. Now, third and eight. The biggest play of the game for North Carolina State right now. Yeah. 13-39 left in the game. Third and eight at the Penn State 26-yard line. 17-14, to the right goes Hall. To the left, Jukes. Not a chance for a completion, thanks to a tremendous rush. Gilsonen was covering Jukes all the way. It is fourth down. Jukes covered like the proverbial blanket. He was all over. kicker. North Carolina 
Arizona State started at their own 29-yard line. Have moved to a fourth down and eight. Ritter will attempt the field goal of 42 yards. It has the distance. It is good. Oh. What a game. So now Penn State's lead is only two points. The score, Penn State 12, North Carolina State 10. Field position will be of paramount importance for the remainder of the game. Following a North Carolina State field goal, the teams exchange punts. Penn State has the ball at the Penn State 25-yard line. Penn State using the man in motion almost Only about two yards before he ran into Gupton and Wesco, and it's going to be second down and eight. I think I detected that time that Mike Gooman was really more concerned with protecting the football well, than anything else. Yes, but I, I do believe those inside linebackers are key in the fullback. Now, if the fullback leads them to the play, they're going to be right in the hole, and that's what happened that time. Second down, eight. Now, was Bubba Green drawn off sides? We shall see. He's clapping his hands, so it would seem so. There is offside, North Carolina State. So okay, I'm going from right here, right here. I don't know what he was clapping about. Obviously, they're staggering their count to kind of cut down on Green's charge because he's been getting an awful lot of penetration. Now, after the five-yard penalty, it is second down and three at the Penn State 32-yard line. Big difference. a first down I do believe at the 35 yard line and of course every first down now is a key first down little counter play to Suey he knows he needs a first down puts his head down drives forward Reed gets a good shot and West goes there first but down Penn State at the Penn State 35 yard line Gooman in the slot left That's the 40-yard line. And Matt Suey now is getting up there in his yardage for the game. Well, he's probably over 100 right now, but he's taking charge. He's saying, hey, fellas, let's get this done. Tackle Simon Gupton was injured on that last play, a six-yard gain by Suey. Penn State is second and four at the Penn State 42-yard line. Here comes Gooman. What a day Mike Gooman is having. That was a big play. They went to the sweep. North Carolina State has gone back to their 52 defense, got out of the gaps. He got a great block from the tight end, enabling Mike to turn the corner. And Mike Gooman is having a big day. First down at the North Carolina State 41-yard line. Suey running hard. Suey gets it down to the 36 and a half yard line. Mike Nall from the secondary had to make the tackle. Yeah, this they go to a slot now. Hall smells this and shoots the gap inside of Gooman and Matt Suey again made it all on his own. I think they could hit Mike Gooman deep right up over the middle. Second and six at the North Carolina State 37 yard line. Three flags. Ball start. Illegal procedure. Illegal procedure, and Penn State will lose five valuable yards. Well, not only that, the strategy changed. Now it's second and 12. They pretty much have to put that ball up in the air. And the of course, North Carolina State knows this, and their defense knows it. Joe Hanna checks in at a defensive end, number 59. Five-yard penalty against Penn State. Illegal procedure. It's second and 12 at the North Carolina State 42-yard line. Gooman. Penalty flag Whip. is down. 
I think you're going to call a clip. It will nullify, if it is a clip, it will nullify a seven yard gain. Once In, again, Penn State's yep. defense breaking down in critical situations. Captain. Here's the screen to the left side to Gooman. Oh. Here comes a clip right from behind by the center, Chuck Corral. You got it, okay. That really hurts. The ball will go all the way back into Penn State territory to the 44-yard line. It will be second down and 26 yards away from a first down with 9.27 left to play in the game. Let's see if Penn State can overcome this very, very big deficit. Gets it down to the 44-yard line of North Carolina State. Good gain. Well, this is what's known as doing it the hard way. They haven't got the first down yet. When they put that Gooman in the slot, there's a linebacker on him. Penn State hasn't gone to him too much. Here he is. He hooks back on the sidelines, and he's awfully dangerous, and open field makes another good run. Gain on the play, about 12 yards. It is third and 13 at the North Carolina State 44. 8.50 left to play and the clock running. Penn State leading 12 to 10. Well, I'll tell you, Fusina got hit awfully late after he went down. But there is no flag down, and there's a loss on the play back on the Penn State side of the 50, and it is going to be punt formation time for Pitsky. Chuck doesn't find his receiver, comes out of the pocket, the pass protection, and breaks down. He's being chased. He decides to go out of bounds. Pitsky hangs it high. Fair catch line at the North Carolina State nine-yard line. So now the Penn State defense takes over the They've been under tremendous pressure all day long. What's happening, they're putting the ball game, the outcome of the ball game, right into the defense and say, hey, fellas, you're going to have to do it for us. Isley will be the quarterback, number 17. Penn State will have Lally, Millen, Petruccio, Clark, and Kubin up front. Mel and Suey, the linebackers. Gilsonen and Kistler, the defensive halfbacks. Loss of five. Again, North Carolina State. Everything to gain, nothing to lose. Passes from first down on the nine-yard line. Here comes Kubin, putting the heat on. Millen, the ball drops loose. North Carolina re uh, recovers it. Loss five yards and 30 seconds. Millen goes out. Steve Stupar replaces him at tackle. Number 91, a junior from West Mifflin. It is second and 15 at the North Carolina State five-yard line. Pickers to the nine. And we will have a third down and 11. This could be the ball game right here on this one play. Millen comes right back in and plays a Stupar. Here's well, the last they, play. They try to cross Penn State up by giving the ball to Vickers on a passing situation. Doesn't make enough for the first down. Now the play is sent in by Mike Quick. He's the messenger. Wide receiver. It is third and 11. We better watch for Teddy Brown coming out of the backfield. to this tribute to the defense. Absolutely great defense. Thank the Teddy Brown. They try to hit a little curl for the first down. Brian Kistler plays it perfectly. Penn State should have good field position. Seven minutes left as Isley is in the end zone to kick. Fine punt. Suey all the way back at the Penn State 44. run and a penalty flag is down. I, well, in the eight. What a run. That ball. All right, 
Let's take a look at the return to enjoy it. What a runner. What a competitor. He's taking it all on his own shoulder. Penalties against North Carolina State, and Penn State's in great position. A personal foul will move the ball all the way down to the North Carolina State 19-yard line. We always name a TCS player of the game. And right about now, I'm inclined to name Matsui. Or Mike Gooman. I'm going to sort of vacillate for the moment between the two. at the North Carolina State 16-yard line. Goes Corey. Down to the six-yard line. Well, Bob Torrey's no slouch. Here's a fullback counter. The linebacker plug took himself out. Torrey saw it, took it to the outside, gets to the sidelines, and almost went all the way. It is first and goal at the six and a half yard line. Six minutes and five seconds left to play. Penn State 12, North Carolina State 10. Sui. Down to the three yard line. Well, I hope the Penn State team is determined to get that six points. You can't always rely on your field goal kicker. of play by Kyle Westro. And there's a loss of a yard. It's going to be third and goal. And North Carolina State, I just can't say too much at how determined this North Carolina State team has played. Okay, Westro sees it all the way, slides out, strings it out, fills it up from the inside, throws it for a yard lunch. Third and goal at the North Carolina State four-yard line. Five minutes left in the game. Well, I think Joe will run the ball into the middle of the field, get to the other three, putting North Carolina State out of a field goal win. Official timeout. Signal for timeout. I don't think he signaled timeout. Did White signal for a timeout back here? Hey, that was, I think, it was a defensive signal. I wouldn't try. Uh, the conversation you hear amongst the officials, they apparently thought that North Carolina State, the officials thought North Carolina State had asked for a timeout. They were merely calling out defensive signals. Well, Penn State lost about 20 seconds on the scoreboard, on the clock. They stopped the clock. It is third and goal at the North Carolina State four-yard line for Penn State. Pass in motion. Was it intercepted? Yes. At the one foot line. Well, it's a sprint out action. They put Bassett in motion. He does a deep out, and Fitzke comes out from a tight end position, but they're too close. Look how close the two receivers are. Woodrow Wilson intercepts at the North Carolina State one foot line with 431 left in the game. And they the must be careful because even a safety now takes them out of a field goal or an attempt for a field goal to win the game. Ed Brown. Rich Malak spins him out at the eight yard line. Boy, he is a great runner. Now, Brownie almost took this all the way upfield. Accelerates, gets to the outside. Rich Millard has excellent speed, or he would have taken it a lot more than six or seven yards. 
It is second down and three at the North Carolina State seven and a half yard line. And remember, Ray, North Carolina State can win the game with a field goal. by Rich Mallott. Rich Mallott is playing maybe the best game I've ever seen him play. And Teddy Brown is down. There was pressure by Lance Mell on the quarterback Isley and a tremendous hit on Brown by Mallott and Mallott is and what? Brown is down. North Carolina State has two timeouts remaining. North Carolina State third and three at the North Carolina State seven and a half yard line. 421 left in the game. Penn State 12, North Carolina State 10. Oh, what a play by Lance Mell. Vickers is met at the line of scrimmage after a gain of a yard, and Lance Mell makes yet another big play. Uh, one on one. Lance Mell, he sees the ball hand off to Vicker. He unloads. Watch that ball carrier go backwards. Great defensive tackle. It is fourth and two at the nine yard line. The clock is running. Isley to punt from the end zone. Suey at the 43 yard line. touchdown. Just a super day for Matt Suey. Makes an inside cut. Breaks it to the outside. He's 217 pounds and he runs away from the pack. Super performance by Matt Suey. What a family. What a player. So the Penn State special teams today have been just outstanding. And again we have to say that unfortunately their orange is all over the playing field now. Being pelted from the stands. Bar to his point total. Penn State 19, North Carolina State 10. Following Penn State's first touchdown of the game, a 43-yard punt return for a TD by Matsui. Penn State kicks off into the end zone. Kennedy will run it out. Inside the 20-yard line, Giuseppe Harris makes the tackle. And here comes Ted Brown back in a ball game, as I knew he would. What a competitor. just been informed that Nebraska has defeated previously number one Oklahoma. That's the reason for that tremendous roar. Isley back to pass. Look out! Randy Hall was behind the defenders, but the pass is incomplete. No way that should happen. Mike Gilson should play deep, keep the receiver in front of him. No way he should ever come up on a pump fake of the quarterback. So second down, 10. Time left in the game, three minutes, 27 seconds. Buster Ray to the right, Mike Quick to the left. Second down, 10, North Carolina State. Here comes the rush. Quick is hit out of bounds at the 33-yard line, first down. Kistler and Lally were there defending, but North Carolina State does not give up easily. Straight drop back action. Quick goes down about 15, breaks to the sidelines. They're going to throw a lot of out patterns so they can help kill the clock. Steve Stupar is in a tackle now, replacing Matt Millen, number 91. Big rush that time by Joe Lally, and as a result, Isley off target. Matt Suey has been selected. 
as the TCS player of the game. Number 32 for Penn State with one of the greatest days he has ever had. It's a great player. Second down, 10. Action. He's trying to get one deep. Watch Lally underneath. They got him double team. Ryan comes up and over. Makes a fine defensive play. Third down, 10. the ball to Ted Brown and as you said George you knew he'd be back in the game and he is back in the game there's our TCS player of the game Matsui fourth down punt formation time well, that's been Penn State's biggest weapon is their punt return Penn State has one man tentatively back Pete Harris he'll allow this ball to roll not risk touching it It'll be downed at the Penn State 21-yard line with less than three minutes to be played in the game. And again, the defense. The defense. Well, your fans appreciate the job they've done. There was no further scoring, and the game ended with the score. Penn State 19, North Carolina State 10. Well, George, Penn State's winning streak has been extended to 18 in a row. But it was not an easy victory. Well, uh, we knew it wasn't going to be an easy one, right? Anytime you're way up at top, number one, number two, everybody's shooting for you. The North Carolina State Committee just played a great game. They were well prepared. It's awfully difficult to win 18 in a row, you know? And it's the bottom line that counts. It turned out to be really a defensive struggle uh, with the punt, especially teams winning it for Penn State. Matt Suey was absolutely superb today. Depth, I felt, at the running back uh, spots today had an awful lot to do with the victory. Not only does Suey have a big game, but Mike Gooman ran very well. Bob Torrey ran very well. Booker Moore made his contributions. But all in all, uh, uh, it was the running attack that, uh, as it turned out, controlled the ball long enough and got it close enough for Matt Barr to they got him close enough for the set field a record. Ball. Absolutely. And he was great, the kid. With George Paterno, this is Ray Scott saying so long. This show has been brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers. When you say Budweiser, you've said it all. And by your 40,000 Westinghouse neighbors in Pennsylvania who make products that use energy efficiently. And by Daly's Juice Products, made with natural fruit juices and a bonus of vitamin C. Compare the quality and the price, you'll buy Daly's. The executive producer of Penn State football is Nelson L. Goldberg. Associate producer, Tom Hewitt. Penn State football has been produced by Guido D'Elia and directed by Brian Seif. Post-production director, Joe D'Amico. Be with us again next week for the Penn State football show special. Production and technical facilities provided by TPC Pittsburgh. Post-productions by Group W Syndication Services, Pittsburgh. This has been a TCS production, a division of Mass Communications and Management Limited.